Hi, Anthony here. Now, I'm making a video today on doing mobile games for two handy little buttons. And the first is if you've got a, a game in Unity and you, you want to export it to Android and to iOS, then what this will do is it will work out what device the game is getting played on and then it will take you to the appropriate store. Also, I'm going to do a button. So if you've got like a Facebook link, it will open the app, the Facebook app, instead of going to the website or open the Twitter app instead instead of going to the website. So that's what the plan is for today. Come on, let's have a look. Okay, so what we're gonna do is firstly make our two buttons. I, I sped this up because it's easy and you know what you're doing. Um, so we'll, first button, we'll call it my other game. So that's so you know where we're going. We're going to our, uh, my other great game. And so, uh, make it orange. And we'll just duplicate that, make it blue, and we'll put an F on it for Facebook and make it a little bit make the f white and a little bit bigger so you can it looks facebooky do subscribe that'd be awesome and then what we're going to do now is in our canvas script we had the a menu manager we're going to open that up um but before we do we'll switch platforms to android and in here, we this is our menu manager, and we're gonna. This is where we're gonna put our code in for this. So, the first one's really easy. It's public void other game, and so in your game, it's good to promote your your games inside your game, so you get people that are fans, and they'll they'll go and do a few. And this is a secret bit of code. It's the if the the hash then if, and this will put the um, platform Android. Um, and so if it's an Android device, we'll go to one app store. And if it's an iOS device, it'll go to the other app store. So if Android, and then it, the hashtags are the key, hashtag else. And see how the, um, you have to end these hashtag ifs. So hashtag end if. And that will, so first of all, it's going to go to our Android store. If we click on this, I'll just paste in um, my link for draw bowling and it, it'll be um, application dot load open URL. Um, yeah. And then I'll paste in my, that, that's when I'll paste in my, um, that's my draw bowling one there. And we'll just copy that and we'll put that down in the else one. And see how it's blacked out? It's because it's not going to use that one because we're in the Android platform. Now we'll just paste in our um, iOS um, link. So we've got two links there. And we'll go back to Unity, and in our button, we have to obviously link up the button and put the menu script in here now, and we'll select the menu manager and other game. And we can hit play, and when we click on our other button, it'll bring up our Android game. Great game definitely awesome um and then we'll close it and we'll swap over to ios this will happen in the app trust me it does happen in the app it doesn't just happen in unity so when we swap over to ios and let me switch it to profile at the port uh, landscape and then we'll put here and click on the other great app and it will open the iOS store which it'll also open the app if you're in the um, actual like you're on a device it'll open the Android store or the iOS store app so you don't have to worry about that also um, but what we're going to do now is put our Facebook thing in so we've put a bool up the top and then we have to have this 
on application focus, bool has focus, and then application is pause. So what's going to happen essentially is when they click on this link, this Facebook link here, it's going to take us to an enumerator, and then the enumerator is going to ask if it's open this first app. See the FB um, is the that's the profile for if you're using the Facebook app, and if it doesn't find that, then it will open application open the Facebook website. You have to change over to your profile number. You find that in Facebook, and your profile name, which you'll find also in Facebook. And if for Twitter, it's Twitter dot that to open the Twitter app. Also, the same thing. You have to find your your names and stuff. You you, do, you can take them to Radio Bush. I'm I'm fine with that. But definitely put your own stuff in. It makes it better for you. And um, so that's pretty much it. Now we'll go back to the button and we'll we'll add the script down here. Now we're we're just going to click on the Facebook one. Um, the the Twitter one's there too. And when we hit play and we click on Facebook, it'll open the website because there's no app on my computer. So that's why it opened that up. It's all good. Works like a charm. And then this is an app that I have. And if I hit the Facebook button, that opens the Facebook app just to show you that it does work. Okay, so that's how it all works. Um, I didn't explain very well that the on application pause is something that a Unity does to check that the game is paused. So when it opens a Facebook app, it'll pause the actual game. That's why it won't load the website. Anyway, thanks for watching. Definitely do a subscribe for me. That would be awesome. Um, add some comments. I want to know what you guys are up to, what projects you're doing, and I will see you next week.